Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, I want to share with you 23 reasons that this September is one to remember. Unbelievable. Number one, uh, a leading Israeli rabbi says that the arrival of the Messiah is imminent and will happen in September of 2015. Rabbi Kanavinsky a leading authority in mainstream ultra-Orthodox Judaism has been giving clear and unequivocal dates and messages recently that the coming of the Messiah is imminent. And he's urging Jews to uh, migrate to Jerusalem quickly because the Messiah is coming, in his opinion. And he says that day is September 12th, 2015. This is a September to remember. As a matter of fact, September 12th, 2015. That is our Texas Explosion Bible Prophecy Conference. It's an all-day conference in Dallas, Texas. Okay, Go to my website, find out more about it. It's, the conference will be taking place at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, downtown Dallas, Texas. So the day of our conference is the day that this Jewish rabbi says that the Messiah will arrive. Now, number two, uh, we have the, is this, uh, that the, the, the Shemitah, the end of the Shemitah will be September the 13th. That's the next day, September 13th, the end of the Shemitah. What will it bring to America and to the world financially? Also, and you guys know that the market <laughs> lost 160 points Wednesday, 100, or 357 points Thursday, and 531 points Friday. And what will Monday bring? And what will September bring? Okay. And then number three is Rosh Hashanah is also September the 13th. Also, number four, it's uh, there's 5,776th year has been proclaimed by the Messianic ceremonial group called the Anas Analusis. They are calling it the year of the light. It's the beginning of the year 5776, the year of the light or the year of the illumination. Illumina the Illuminati. It begins September 14th, the year of light. And then uh, number five, the United Nation uh, resolution establishing Palestine as a state. That resolution is expected to go on the floor of the General Assembly, the 70th uh, annual convention of the General Assembly of the United Nations. That's going to take place September 15th. Number six, Jade Helm uh, comes to an end after 60 days. When's it end? September 15th. 15th. And then number seven, the International Day of Peace, which has been proclaimed by the United Nations, will be uh, September the 21st. Remember what the Bible says when they say peace and safety, then cometh sudden destruction. That day is September 21st uh, coming up. And then number eight, Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, is of course at September 22nd and 23rd, as it is the uh, Day of Atonement. And then the year of Jubilee. <laughs> this is going to be a year of Jubilee. The 70th Jubilee at that. And it will be starting on, of course, September 23rd. What's the odds of that? All right, are you serious? Then number 10, the Hajj. That's right, Islam's Day of Arafat. Well, the Hajj also is September 22nd through the 23rd, exactly the same day this year as the Day of Atonement. What are you serious? Another reason for a September to remember. And then wait a minute, number 11, uh, it will also be the Feast of Sacrifice in Islam, and that will be September 23rd through September 26th. Also, number 12, uh, the Mayan calendar, folks, lasted 5,126 years, all right? If you go back to, that's 5,126 years. If you go back to 9-11, 2001, 
and count 5,126 years, count the days. The 5,126th day is September 23rd. September 23rd is how many days, and it lands right there. Unbelievable. That's also the beginning of the 70th Jubilee and the Day of Atonement. Are you serious? You can't, you can't make this stuff up, folks. Are you serious? But wait, there's more. Uh, number uh, 13, of course. Number 13, the CERN expects to crank it up to the full capacity on when? September 23rd and 24th. And they're also calling it, the CERN is calling it the year of light or illumination. The same thing that the Masonic ceremony, the Masons are calling the year of light. All right, just a different day, but still September. And then number 14, Madonna. Madonna is going to be doing the desecration of the bride and the arrival of fallen angels. She'll be doing a concert on September 23rd in Washington, D.C., the same day as the Day of Atonement. And then the Pope will be addressing Congress the next day, September 24th, for the first time in history. And the Pope will be addressing the United Nation leaders the next day on September 25th. And his speech will be about distribution of wealth and unification of world laws and a whole lot more. World laws, that's a one world government, a new world order. But wait, there's more. Also, the Pope will also hold a mass in New York City's Madison Square Garden also the same day while he's in New York on September 25th. And the next day, the Pope will visit the Church of Philadelphia on September 26th. And also, uh, number 19, the uh, French foreign minister said the 500 days until climate chaos. Well, that, be, uh, that 500 days comes to an end and begins the chaos when September 25th is the 500th day. And then there's that new park called Tomorrowland. It is going to be launching the Antichrist opening of the gates and the portals. And that's going to be taking place on September 25th through the 27th. That's what they're calling it. Are you serious? But wait! There's more. Number 21, the Feast of Tabernacles is September 27th through October 5th. A September to remember. But wait, and then there's the fourth and final blood moon, a super blood moon on the Feast of Tabernacles, and <laughs> it's going to be taking place in the early morning hours, just after midnight or so of September 28th, I'll be preaching the Blood Moon Revival in Hyman, Pennsylvania, September 27th through September 30th. Instead, I'm telling you, that might be a place to be in a, a very prophetic revival. And the 23rd reason for this to be a September to remember, the Muslims say the Mahdi will return in September. Are you serious? The Mahdi. Is that, is that why the Iranian nuke deal was signed? And will it be ratified in September or rejected? This is a September to remember. Are you saved? We're running out of time. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss tonight's Sunday night live broadcast. I'm going to cover these in more in depth and read some of the articles that go along with these things that are coming up in tonight's broadcast from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern. It will be powerful, so don't be late. Go to my website right now at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.